Hi everyone, I thought I'd do a um, fun video and show you um, some of the designer pieces that I've found when I've been um, op shop shopping or that's what we call it in Australia, it's called, people call it thrifting I think or thrift shopping in the US. So um, I have done a lot of um, op shopping, I've been an avid op shopper for many years and so um, in my time I've managed to kind of come across um, some very exciting gems. Um, and some amazing designer pieces for um, sometimes for very cheap. So I'm going to show you. It's kind of I've been looking at it, going like it's a lot of suits and jackets and power suits and stuff like that. But anyway, it's still interesting. Um, the first piece is um, this is a Christian Lacroix jacket. So if you've seen Absolutely Fabulous, you'll be familiar with Lacroix. He unfortunately has gone bankrupt, but um, he's an amazing designer. This isn't. I wouldn't say this is typical of his style because he um, is known for kind of colour and prints and stuff, but um, this is um, a cute jacket. So, um, a kind of peplum here and um, the zip and these pockets and stuff. It's it's Bizarre de Christian Lacroix and so that's a diffusion label and the lining has this, that print there and um, I can't remember how much I got that but um, I used to work in a quite a wealthy area in Sydney, so I sp and there were several op shops there. So, I, and I didn't like my job very much. So, I used to spend my lunch times kind of drowning my misery by going op shopping, and I was it was a very fruitful period in my op shopping career. This is a really cute um, jacket that I got um, when I was in the Blue Mountains, which is a few hours from Sydney. This is a Gianfranco Ferre, I think. I'm not sure that's that's how you say his name but um, it doesn't look right with this t-shirt at all but um, it's another kind of it's a power suity kind of thing um, so you can see there's a sort of satin um, waistband with these massive um, faceted buttons and then at the back there's a bow so yeah four dollars um, it's a suit and by the designer Claude Montana who was um, very big in the 80s he's part of the whole kind of power suit um, vibe um, with the like big shoulders and em like you know emphasizing a narrow waist and stuff is very 40s influenced I think um, and this is an 80s classic 80s power suit and it's So there's the buttons down there, which kind of gives you the, emphasizes the hourglass shape. And then it came with um, just some navy. I've never worn this jacket with the navy pants because it's a bit too kind of power suity. But um, I've worn this jacket a lot with jeans and a striped t-shirt. Or something. Same church sale. I got um, this ensemble by um, the Japanese designer Issei Miyake. And so he is famous for um, working with pleated fabric. So this is um, this is black and it's pleated and it's a kind of zip up top and pants. And um, the sleeves are very um, unusual shape. These are the sleeves. So obviously no one's arms are curved, but you are. Um, I think he's sort of interested in the shapes that it's like kind of sculpture around the body and how the um, putting the body inside the form changes the shape of the um, of the clothing. So, you know, I'm putting this on in my arm. That's my hand. So I have to like kind of pull it up, and then it kind of makes these kind of interesting shapes around your arm. I have worn this, but it, a few times I've gone to wear it, and I just don't. Um, sometimes it doesn't work I, on me, I think, because it was probably it was designed with, a, I guess, a Japanese woman's body in mind, and Japanese women are kind of much more petite than I am. So, um, yeah, like, maybe I've got more lumps and bumps than a Japanese woman. <laughs> but anyway, this is the top. With the bits here. 
and then the pants um, Valentino suit it's got amazing gold buttons um, I've that's one thing about designer clothing which is difficult for um, high street brands to replicate is um, the buttons because but the wife of a Central American leader or something like that and she was in some high-end um, the designer level of a um, high-end department store or something and they had security footage of her going through and like with a knife or scissors and cutting off all of the buttons of um, this designer clothing because she would go and get the um, clothing copied and then um, but she of course couldn't um, get um, decent looking fake um, buttons so she was going and stealing buttons and then the um, skirt that it came with has this um, fringe along the bottom the jacket is quite long so then the, the fringe just kind of peeks at the bottom and swings around and stuff so um, an op shop right near where I got the Valentino one and um, Someone, I don't know who this person must be, um, went and must have done a massive wardrobe clean out and just put all this designer clothing in. One piece that I got is this Chanel um, tweed kind of cowl drape neck um, top. So, yes, it's Chanel. Someone, someone went and dumped their Chanel at the um, op shop. Anyway, sort of classic um, Chanel tweed lining. This is what I think is so amazing is the, the beautiful silk, printed silk lining. Like most designers wouldn't bother um, using amazing printed fabric for their lining because, you know, no one sees. Apparently this top actually had a matching jacket and um, someone had gone and bought just the jacket and not this top. So I was a bit upset about that. It's another Chanel suit. See, like this, who was this person? Who was this woman? And I'm committing um, heresy by putting the um, jacket, I mean, putting these things on plastic coat hangers, but it's early 90s to me. I th there was a period in the 90s when um, sort of minimalism um, was very big. So I, and I think, cause it's got an A-line skirt and stuff. So I'm thinking that this is uh, from that period. I won this suit um, and even though it's not kind of very now looking I got so many compliments just because I think the fabric and the cut and everything's so nice. It doesn't look right at all with this t-shirt does it? This is a um, wool viscose tweed um, A-line skirt and it's interesting because the back is um, cut on the bias which means that the um, the weave of the skirt isn't um, it's not going straight across up and down the way the front is. That's so yeah. about it. Um, so yeah, I mean, some of these things I haven't actually ever worn, but um, I got them because I thought they were beautiful and I um, mean, they were sometimes they're cheap. Not all of these things were cheap. Not all of these things were five dollars or whatever. Um, but they were still uh, amazing um, prices for the um, for the piece so you know I had to buy it and I like having them and you know it's for a good cause as well so I'm happy to pay um, I think that I think that this Chanel suit was like $150 or something so you know I'm happy to pay that for a, a designer piece which would have cost way more than that um, in the store and also um, to for that money to go to charity so yeah um, if you like um, ob shopping or thrift shopping as much as me and you've got stuff like that then I'd love to see what um, you've bought um, or you know even if you just want to put comment in the bottom bar and stuff so yeah okay I hope you enjoyed it thanks bye